us to share some of the issues pertaining to farmers, particularly related to farmers. We are anticipating uh, some problem uh, for the farmers which is likely to cause because of climate change, because of late monsoon and uh, other, uh, as I said, climate change which has affected the globally but particularly Nagaland in particular this year is little peculiar than other times. So yesterday what uh, we did the uh, Honorable Chief Minister for Library and Allies to see and share uh, what is our preparedness and what is going to happen during this um, red monsoon and our, our uh, what do you call it, uh, crops are drying up because of one way, one to one side, the full, full uh, army one that is affecting maize, particularly maize and few crops. And side by side, even in other some pockets, even large scale kadamams are also drying up. Maybe because of the swale, where the water uh, is not uh, been contained. So, like that, the effect is there. And also, from April, February, March, April, May, uh, only towards Aboy and somewhere, it came out in the air. But even our local the domestic animals are being affected. But it has become little common, so everybody has, uh, uh, well fighting with their pandemic, corona. Yeah, we have forgotten all these things, but uh, the department has taken its initiative as a department of uh, animal husbandry. They have done their best, and I think somehow, some, to some extent, it might have contented, contented because of its. Uh, uh, effort. Uh, so this year is very, very, very particular for Nagaland. As agri agriculture department is concerned, we are anticipating that drought-like situation may come because with this terrain, if the terrace is uh, completely, if the off, off season is almost coming. If we cannot do it this month, it will be too late. So the rivers are dry. And the rain, although little improvement is there in one, two days' time, but that is also not a constant. One time it came, one time it goes away, and then, by the time it dries up, it, then it comes back. So, not very sufficient. So, why we call you is we want to share this message to you because we are a spokesperson of the people. And uh, you, you, you are between people and the people, government and the uh, people who rule over the nations. That's why media has become very uh, important tool for us. Uh, who should be our sponsor? So, to you, we want to uh, make some written press release <coughs> where hard copy should be given to the minister, who is the head of the state, and he should pressure with the MHA to see that in the event of this happen, I think government of India should be informed well ahead of time and they should be kept informed and they should be ready for us. Uh, we all have come across the paper yesterday. The uh, Home Minister of India has uh, reviewed the, 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 the disasters, what is going to happen, what is not known. But whatever has happened, and uh, they are assessing state-wise, but ours is, uh, 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 we take little casual and uh, major disaster doesn't come to us uh, all the time. That's why well ahead of time we don't keep it home. But agriculture, there is no substitute to food unless rice is available with us. So other way, if like drought, like uh, situation affects us also, we should be with the agencies which, is, which can help us, we can rescue the farmers so to, to let 
to this message to be flushed out and let the government of India know it and we also pass on the release, press release and then hard copy will be given to Chief Minister and the side by side and my colleague and my IPC, we will also pursue with our ministries so what they can help us in the event of this kind of situation uh, affect us. So, uh, do you take the views and stand of the state government in as far as uh, the level of preparedness to the situation that we are facing, the drop rate situation that we are going through now. Uh, the present situation, uh, if we look at the rainfall data of uh, May, from January to May, as you see that it is very skewed, even in the small state like Nagaland, it is very skewed. Some part of the state is experiencing drought like situation, some part of the state is going through normal, you know, uh, climatic factor, some part is ex experiencing, ex uh, 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 you know, um, excess rainfall. That kind of skewedness is there in Nagaland. So, for the areas where there is a shortfall of moisture, areas where there is deficient of rainfall, at a critical time like this, when uh, we are, the farmers are now, you know, going through this sowing season and also germination period of uh, the growth, it is badly affected. And this is going to really impact, this is going to affect the crop production. So that is the thing. Now this has affected the, especially the Chum uh, sector, the Chum uh, areas. For the TRCs and also the foothill areas where the water is solely dependent for agriculture purpose, rain has not come. Land preparation is also delayed because of that. Seeds that are already sown are also drying up. So this is really going to affect. So if we don't get monsoon rain on time, we are really going to face difficulty. So the anguish of the farmers is compounded at the time when we are going through this uh, pandemic situation. This is very unfortunate. So the state government is also doing all it, all it can in order to mitigate the impact of drought um, in Nagaland. As you all know, this is all happening because of the climate change. There is, because of the climate change, there is this unpredictability of weather condition. Erratic rainfall is there. And so this is uh, a normal thing, this is a normal phenomenon. So we have to be well prepared. So the state government is also taking all steps to ensure that Farmers are not affected because of change in climatic variations. We have also different programs where climate proofing, then uh, introduction of crops that are drought tolerant, and also farm practices, which will also mitigate the process of the effect of change in weather, the vagaries of weather. So all these uh, uh, measures are also being taken. The state government under different programs like PMPSY, where drip irrigation for water efficiency, for water use efficiency, and also water harvesting structures, then soil and moisture conservation measures under different programs through watershed development program, through different uh, ongoing programs. These are being, you know, um, dovetailed into the ongoing existing programs and these are being taken up in the real, in the, in the, in the right earnest in order to mitigate the process of the climate change. So, um, as mentioned by my senior colleague, our chief minister, under his leadership, the present government is also taking all steps in order to take the farmer's problem 
and see in what way these problems can be addressed. So different line departments are coming into um, by giving great effort and you see that this risk, this uh, crop loss is minimized to a certain extent. We know for sure that uh, we cannot uh, fully avoid or prevent climate change or change in the you know, uh, weather conditions. But we can surely, through our interventions, we can surely slow down the process. So that effort is also being taken up. Also the adaptation process. Because at the time when uh, we are going through climate change, and climate change is a reality. So we are also taking up a lot of adaptation uh, processes. As I say, changing the agriculture system, the cropping pattern has also to be uh, changed to suit to the changing times, to suit to the changing environment, to suit to the changing uh, climate, and also by taking up crop resilient crops, climate resilient crops. I mean. So, climate resilient crops, climate resilient agriculture system are being also incorporated into our plan of things. So these are a few steps that the state government is taking. And uh, yesterday we have also had a meeting with our local chief minister. He has made a meeting and all these issues were being discussed. And we will also try in whatever way possible, we will take that discussion forward as far as possible. This is all I wanted to share with you all. Thank you. As already uh, stated in addition to that of what uh, Honorable Minister and Advisor has stated the uh, purpose of requesting you is uh, to let you know that the state is facing a drop line situation. And uh, uh, you know, as you are aware that uh, since uh, December of last year, till April there was no rent. And as you may be aware that uh, the June cultivation uh, the land, uh, you know, good cultivation is from uh, up maple. Actually, the soil season is from uh, February, March. So it has affected. It has affected uh, uh, almost all good cultivation, and uh, uh, we have taken the data of uh, 915 villages has been affected of about uh, 68,000. 662 hectares of June field has been affected. We will give you a hard copy of it as well as a soft copy later on. So it has been affected as you are aware that 70 percent of the population lives in the rural areas and they depend on agriculture because there is no stock of large and medium scale industry in our state. The only hope is on agriculture. And out of 70% uh, again of agriculture, again 70%, more than 70% depend on drone cultivation. And the remaining 30 is uh, uh, TRC, we call it, there is uh, rice cultivation and wet there is uh, cultivation. So it has affected the drone cultivation. And uh, in the month of uh, uh, March, as the Honorable Minister has stated, FAW, we call it fall RB1 has affected. So in June area, there were no germination, rather less germination also, and two schools were germinated also affected by, mostly by the fall RB1. So department intervention was done, all agree in the light, but it could not be able to achieve because uh, by the time we reach it, it's almost affected. So this is about the job, and as far as the race is also concerned, I mean, can we call it? Since there is uh, less rain, it has also affected the soil season, which is normally in the month of uh, this month, June. So we are of the view that if there is no rain till second week of July, again it is going to be affected even the terrace. So for your kind information, last year. The, uh, the uh, rice production of the state last year was in the tune of 5 lakh 
51,000. 551,000 was the production last year. And uh, it is likely to reduce 70% this year as per the present trend, which means uh, we are expecting about 1.66, 166,000 only because of uh, the less rent. So this is, and the, uh, we have uh, collected a chart yesterday uh, about the, uh, the rainfall from uh, up to January to May. And we will give you a chart. So the deficiency uh, is from 20% to 59%. In some districts, you will find a huge uh, percentage of even 66% deficiency there. So, as our local minister and advisor has stated, this is going to be a very difficult year for us. It's not only fighting with the pandemic, COVID-19, but more so, we are going to fight with this kind of uh, situation that we are uh, I mean, ahead of us. So, uh, on the 27th of April, uh, we have a meeting under my governorship uh, as an APC. All April and night we had a meeting here, we have taken the stock, and when we have realized that there is a no ramp or less than, we have uh, uh, had a tracker discussion and we requested all April and night to distribute the seeds to the affected area and accordingly agree hardly and from my father and so many others, they have distributed. We have distributed in the month of uh, May. May to the affected area, we thought that our land, our job area should not feel empty. It should not be empty, it should be filled up with something. So additional seeds were distributed in the month of uh, May, but even after that also there was no land. Until today there is uh, very less land. So because of that, although intervention was done, it would not able to achieve its desired uh, result because of uh, uh, scarcity of land. So as uh, stated by uh, both Honorable Minister and Advisor, yesterday, Honorable Chief Minister, who is very keen uh, about this issue, and uh, he has taken, uh, uh, personally he has conveyed to us that we should meet and yesterday we had a trade discussion. Honorable Chief Minister is also of the view that we have to address to it and it should be known to the people about uh, the problem is serious about it. And uh, we have also decided that, you know, this year we will try to find out resources. Either, you know, from anywhere we will try to find out resources and in the month of September and October, October, we will try to provide early rabi seeds to the affected farmers, so that uh, in the form of like potatoes or you know oil seed like sarsho or peanuts or whatever, so that vegetables and others, so that they will able to you know they will able to at least back up with some losses, whatever is going to happen because of uh, late arrival of uh, rain or less. So this is what uh, we are planning. And uh, a core uh, committee under the APC, uh, it has been uh, formed uh, the, with all in the BNNI department as a member. And uh, we will re review the ground uh, situation Finally, from time to time, as per the report from the from the field officers, and uh, we have been issuing uh, this uh, instruction, and we also, you know, truly want to convey that all the green and light departments should be in the station. They should uh, meet the farmers, and uh, whatever corrective measures, whatever intervention that the department, concerned department of the state government. Uh, we are ready to do that. In the meantime, as stated by both Honorable Minister and Advisor, this, uh, uh, we feel that you are the right person uh, to communicate to the people about the initiative that the government is taking and uh, the, uh, uh, the government, our Honorable Chief Minister is very serious about it, not only pandemic, but 
the drug like situation or the uh, what we call it uh, the problem that the farmer is going to face this year. So uh, we are of the view that uh, since the harvesting of uh, yesterday in the month of September, October, there is going to be a huge problem from October onwards, especially in the rural areas, because uh, there is no going to be any harvest. And uh, for your kind of information, uh, I will just give you, uh, we will give you a picture, but just give you, uh, show you a picture. This is the chart uh, of uh, the rent. We will give you a hard copy. So we will not uh, take time. This is the picture. We, uh, we will give you both hard and soft copy to you. So this is uh, the rent form that has been collected. Next. So most affected area is already stated. Next. So the area of joke is this is the area which has been affected in this much villages next. And uh, as already stated, it has affected uh, FLW. Greatest enemy is other crop, but I think FLW, you don't want to see in nature. So it has affected in uh, most of uh, the match field areas. And it has affected this much actors in uh, this much uh, villages. Next. So rice production has reduced its status and as stated it is expected that by October we are going to have a crisis because when there is no harvest. And uh, you know, until unless there is a water availability is there and agree and like we have been stresses from last year. We talk about food security but no water security. So we are talking about the new model of integrated zero farming. That's why we were going to discuss it next. So these are the few pictures we will give you. This is in the Jove area. You feel that uh, this time this is the season where the crop should be around the family, the rice should be about four or five feet. Now this is the condition in the field. Next. Next. Yeah, these are the conditions you can see. And the field is full and thick. Next. So there is a panic in the minds of our villagers. This is the actual panic. Next. You see on the right, you see that is the, uh, what we call it, uh, fashion fruits. So even the fruits have dried up, and on the left side, it is the cardamom. So it is not only affected the seasonal, uh, uh, I mean, crop, but it has affected even the commercial crops for a long term. Uh, impact is going to be there. Uh, yeah. So these are yeah. So this the rest field are mostly in this uh, and if uh, there is going to be a delay of rent, then again the rest field is going to be another problem, not only the joke. Yes, yes. So this is the pictures of the terrace field you see. There is uh, dry actually the soil cannot be taken in the field. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So without uh, without uh, rain, actually, this is the condition using the power tiller also. Since there is no rain, this is the condition on the ground zero. Next. 